Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from nfixitonline.com Now in this tutorial we're going to go over a software called Damien Tools Now Damien Tools is an emulation software and it would allow you to run back a disk image whether DVD or CD as if you were playing it inside your disk drive and the ones who can benefit from this are like gamers if you play games that wants the CD or the DVD to be in the disk drive but at the same time you want to free up your disk drive you can make a copy an ISO image or a narrow image or what have you and you could basically run it through Damien tools just like if it was a disk drive also if you're making backup copies of your favorite movies using DVD decryptor and then you want to shrink it through DVD shrink Damien tools is definitely the tool to use okay so now that we told you what Damien tools is about we're gonna talk about how you can install it the different versions what the different versions include and so forth so the first thing you want to do is you go to Damien tools website of course you just type it in Google I'm using Firefox so once you put it in there it'll bring you to the course the Google search results and then you come to this page which is the Damien tools home page as you can see here now once you're on the home page basically it shows you the the different versions of Damien tools in the two main versions you have Damien tools pro advanced and the Damien tools pro standard and they both support both 32 and 64-bit Microsoft operating systems all right now the difference between these both in the light version which is the free version is it has support for SCSI blu-ray move this over a little bit it has support for SCSI blu-ray images for all you advanced users who's into the blu-ray and the difference between the pro advanced and the pro standard is that the pro advanced has support for the VIDE which supports the C plus and the Java code that runs on Unix, Linux or Sun's JDK systems okay now what we're gonna go to is the light version which is the free version because most people are interested in the free but before we go through this let's just go through the prices if you want the pro advance click on there here you see the euro is 39 for the free year upgrades or 62 for the dollar and so forth you can buy for up to five years free upgrades All right. and the pro standard is a little cheaper these are the prices you have there okay what we're gonna go to is the light version which is here now the Damien tools light version it might not support the blu-ray have blu-ray support or the, um, the VIDE or SCSI but if you're using a regular IDE on a Windows system this works perfectly well okay so once you click on that link there and it shows you the description telling you about Damien tools and what it allows you to do then you see to the right here the download link and also up here it just basically tells you what version it is and it also supports 32 or 64 bit the light version sorry alright so you once you click on the download link of course I'm using Firefox so Firefox wants to save the file click on that link and it downloads okay so once this downloads then we're gonna go through the installation process and basically how you can use Damien tools okay so once you have downloaded Damien tools and you double click on the installation file this is the first screen you're presented with and actually what language you speak or you want to install of course this one will be English you select OK and it tells you about Damien tools you select next this is the user license agreement and you agree of course and then the installation process begins 
Okay, so the setup was it goes through a process and it presents you with this message here telling you for Windows to continue the installation and must reboot and ask you if you want to restart now. And of course, you're going to select yes. Okay, so once you have restarted, the wizard brings you to this welcome screen explaining the version of Damien tools you're about to install and so on so you select next it has detected that I have an older version of Damien tools on the system and ask you what you want to do uninstall Damien tools like completely or update to the latest version and we're gonna select update so you select next then it asks me if then it asks me if I'm sure if I want to uninstall Damien tools which mean an older version so we select on OK and now the wizard just goes through that process okay so once it goes through that process we present it with the user license agreement again we select yes then it asks you what do you want to integrate Damien tools with with the Windows Explorer a default search provider tool search bar desktop shortcut and start menu shortcuts I like to keep my desktop clear the only options that I'm going to leave open is integrate with Windows Explorer in the shortcut menu. Everything else I will leave out. Then you select next. Now that last option is basically is totally up to the user. If you want to have leave them more selected or you have your own preferences, then you go with that. And this is some promotions that Damien Tools are promoting. I have my own start page. I don't want to use theirs, so I'll just select on next there. This is where it will be installed C program files, which I recommend. And this tells you the space required and the space available on your hard drive. Then you select install. Then of course Damien Tools wants you to reboot your system again. Now the only reason they asked me to reboot twice actually is because I had a previous version on the system. If you're installing Damien Tools for the first time, I'll only ask you to reboot once. Okay, so we're going to reboot again, then we're going to continue this tutorial.